hi welcome to 100 days ui series so today is the day 5 and the challenge is to create app icon so let's start first we need to select frame and then draw a frame okay now let's make it 24 by 24 ship to to make it zoom to selection now let's rename this and type now it's time to add grid so for the grid let's choose add layout let's select column first and just type 2 for the count and color red is fine and the type let's make it center and for the width we will choose 2 the 20 gutter is fine ok now let's add another layout grid and this time make it row and for the count we will type 2 color is fine type make it center and 2 gutter 20 is fine so this is our grid ok now let's add another grid and uh, this time we will use it 8 let's add another grid and this time we will make the size to 12 ok now let's select circle ellipse and uh, let's draw ellipse 20 by 20 and remove the fill and add stroke for the width we will use 0 0.4 and for the color we will use light gray something like this d4 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 ok now let's select rectangle and just draw a rectangle by 20 and 16 let's center align remove fill and add stroke for the color we will use ok for the size we will use 0 0.04 ok and for the corner radius let's make it 2 now let's duplicate this command D and rotate this so this is another rectangle and uh, now let's draw another rectangle this time we will make it 18 by 18 let's remove the fill and add stroke for the width we will use 0 0.04 and let's make it also 2 for the color use the same now let's select line and just draw a line something like this ok now let's select first the color d4 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 for the size use 0 0.04 center line and now let's duplicate this and try to use flip horizontal ok now let's select ellipse again and let's make another circle by 8 by 8 or maybe 10 by 10 ok let's make it 10 by 10 another circle this time also we will use 0 0.4 and for the color use the same code something like this ok so now let's select these uh, objects and group it name it grid and lock it for the height let's increase it slightly like something like this and uh, now let's double click to enter the edit mode and uh, let's make this something like this and uh, now let's also make the bottom one something like this ok now let's select this node and uh, something like this this node also so let's let's reduce the width now let's select both shape and uh, make it union this option ok now let's select circle again and make circle 8 by 8 make it white let's duplicate this again and make it 
6 by 6 let's make it gray and again just duplicate this and make it 4 by 4 make it white and uh, let's make it duplicate again and make it 2 by 2 let's make it gray okay now let's just duplicate this circle and make it smaller like one by one and make it white and it's time to add color so for the color let's select this base shape i will choose the color code something like this now let's make it linear and for the second color let's use this color code and make it 100 percent so it's look like this okay now let's make it angular okay so let's just adjust this section it's looking little bit odd so just compress command key and select it let's make it like this okay and for the height and for the width let's decrease it slightly I think let's leave it like this okay so let's select this shape again and now inside the fill click on the uh, four dots and add to style so let's call it gradient now it's we add it to our swatches we will apply it to this circle okay so now apply the same gradient to this circle and uh, make this one to 25 percent transparent and uh, this one let's make it white and for this dot we will use 75 percent also one thing i notice the gradient style we need to update it slightly now let's select the white circle and go to effects and inside the effects select drop shadow and uh, four and four blur is fine let's make it overlay okay this time we need to press option key and just duplicate this white rectangle and bring it to the front and place it here now again let's select this uh, circle and make it copy and paste now select both and go to the option and select intersect now go to layer blending option and make it multiply crystal looking shadow now we have added this glass looking effect to the lens now select these all shapes and make it slightly bigger okay we don't need to increase this shape to just leave it like this okay Let's select and make it group call it lens for this we need to draw a line same height select both and make it align so I think it's properly aligned Let's select this shape make it something like this okay now let's select the frame and turn off all the guides and also turn off the grid now let's draw a rectangle 24 by 24 let's make it center line round the corner to make it four and make it smooth send it to bake now let's select camera icon and the shape just bring it to the black background let's make it group and also make it group select shape and center line let's make it white and let's add slightly okay so this was the today day 5 challenge and uh, hope you like the process